Well, a minute since I made a video, but this is what I'm dealing with today. This is the old motor out of the 89 Mustang that y'all never seen yet. Anyways, when you're pulling the intake off or the head or whatever, normally you get uh, get water in the motor. You know, oil, change the oil, do all this drama. Just pull one head bolt out. So they go into the water jacket. I took a, this has come off of a bucket. It's got a hole in the middle of it. It's basically a vacuum line. Pull the head bolt out. Stick it all the way past the, down in the bottom of the block. Take a little, little air pressure. block if you're pulling the head most every time you pull the head off you get a bunch of water dumps down in the motor and you got to clean all that up and it's all around the pistons and everything else if you'll do this it'll drain the block enough below the head surface to where when you go to pull the head off it won't be a drip of drop of nothing going in the motor Filling the bucket up. Once it drains, we can pull the rest of the head bolts out, or if you're just doing the intake, you can do the same thing. You just put the head bolt back in, torque it back down if you're just doing the intake, and you won't get any water in your motor. A lot less drama, a lot cleaner. Plus, you don't even have to change your oil if you. If you're clean enough to keep the dirt and everything out of your motor. But yeah, this, this, this works 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm going to drain this side. I'm pretty sure this has got a blow egg gasket. I don't know where this camera's pointing at the time, so... See, it ain't crack. You can see it was about to push the freeze plug out. See it sticking out. It was building pressure up, peeking the water out. Wash clean. See it sit somewhere. What's a brand new head gasket? I just pieced this motor together out of about five different ones. Got the TRW Forge pistons in it now. 
This was a SM95 block, I believe. cylinder was hitting better than the rest it was getting water in it somehow the spark plug was white I'll show you all that in a minute it don't look like the head gasket was blowed See any signs of a blown spot? Hitting good on one cylinder. Valve sticking up a little higher than the other ones. Hmm. Oh. Definitely about to push the freeze plug and slap out. And it fell out. Wow. Well, it's odd. It's building pressure from something. The other side's the one spark plug that was rusty looking, so maybe it's in the other side. I don't know how why this one cylinder will be hit better than the rest. Normally they do all chalky exhaust valves. It's normally a good sign. One spark plug. One to turn on that cylinder. There it is. Looks like it's getting washed to me. I don't know how this thing's focusing or not, but it's on the clean, clean one. Rusty. Maybe it's this one. Oops. Number seven. Let's just hit drains and pop it off. Anyways, the whole point of this video was to show you how to drain the block more or less without pulling these out. You can pull these out and do the same thing, but most of the time these jokers don't come out too good. But yeah, if you pull the bolt out, take just a small vacuum line, whatever, and it'll shoot some air past it make it start draining that way as long as you're draining below siphoning out it'll drain all the water out of the block and then you don't have a bunch of water going down in the holes block don't look too great well decent new video is gonna come out but it is what it is Live action. I may add this other side once I, I gotta pull the valve cover the rock arms, push rods out, get the rest of these head bolts out, and pop this head of head off and see what it's looking like. Be back in a minute, maybe. Take 
gone through the whole process. The battery. Motor smell. I'm getting hot. Well, should pop this one off. No water getting in the motor. Drip a drop. Ain't getting out. There's not a drop of water in the block. See if you pull that boat out. You mark it. Let's tighten it back to where the mark is. You don't even have to worry about using the torque wrench. That suit on it. I'm not sure what was going on with this one. Where am I? I was building so much pressure up. The head gasket appears to be intact. I don't see any visible cracks anywhere. Makes you wonder what's going on. See water water trails anywhere. No 
Jesus, it's got a blown head gasket. It beats washed clean, steam cleaned, basically. So now I'm really wondering what's going on. Should have done a compression test on it. Anyways, stumped, stunned. Was the whole problem. Just sit on every one of them. That wasn't the problem. I don't know if the box is. sense. because it was brand new. It ain't been on long. You probably didn't put 100 miles on it. But something's going on. Yeah. I'm going to walk down around the pistons to rust. To deal with later. later I guess let's see if I can figure out what the hell was going on with this thing try to figure out how to pressure test these heads maybe somewhere else something's going on you shouldn't be building pressure and pushing freeze plugs out of the block for no reason I'm probably do it on this one, y'all. I guess I'll see y'all on the next video.